How does Ukraine defeating Russia benefit the US? If Ukraine falls, Russia gains access to cold water ports, control over a breadbasket, emboldened Russian aggression, moves Russia one step closer to NATO conflict. Russian access to cold weather ports only strengthens their naval capabilities and shipping industries, ensuring wealth and influence to the detriment of the American allies and America itself. Russian control over grain exports puts key food supplies in hands of a hostile foreign power. If the Kremlin decides a pound of flour costs $40, Europeans starve, global economy stutters, and again ensures wealth and influence of an aggressive Russia rather than America or allies. If the West let Ukraine fall, Russia may feel more comfortable taking more ground or strike deeper into NATO territories. Better to hold the line a few hundred kilometers away rather than fighting Russia off the doorstep. And if Russia did overstep, NATO triggers Article 5. An attack on one is an attack on all. We tick a step toward WW3 between nuclear powers. OR let it slide. Weakening King NATO, yielding to Russia, furthering their emboldenment and alienating pivotal allies who provide America the means to challenge Russia a world away. Proxy wars are usually preferred when a direct war is likely to result in mad. Nuclear non-proliferation. If Ukraine gets left out in the cold, it kicks off a race for any country that thinks it might find themselves in Ukraine's position 1. Day to get a nuke as fast as it can. You can see why that might be a bad thing for the world. Because we saw what happens when you don't help back in 1939 in Poland. My honest opinion as a non-US American outsider. Because the Cold War is not over and by removing Russia off the board, it guarantees your safety and your lifestyle. Or what's left of it. The proxy war to end all proxy wars sounds like a better deal than actually engaging into another conflict. This is an extract of report to President Dwight D. Eisenhower from World War II bomber Gen. James Doolittle. It is now clear that we are facing an implacable enemy whose avowed objective is world domination. By whatever means and at whatever cost there are no rules in such a game. Hitherto acceptable norms of human conduct do not apply. If the United States is to survive, long-standing American concepts of fair play must be reconsidered. It still applies. But how can the US justify spending billions and billions to Ukraine when we have so many pressing domestic issues? The fact that you act like the US spending billions on military-related action as a shocking thing is just stupid for so many reasons. Firstly, the US has a yearly budget of trillions, not billions. Secondly, the US has been spending the majority of its budget on its military for decades by this point. Recent years have reached 600,800 billion a year alone. Thirdly, the act of spending on aid toward Ukraine does not anyway hinder the ability for the country to address domestic issues. Fourthly, domestic issues aren't simply solved by throwing money at it. There is no reasonable way that aiding Ukraine somehow is remotely related to domestic issues. If somebody told you this, they probably are just trying to make you afraid of an opposing political party. When the invaders lose, it benefits everyone who enjoys peace. Peace is better than war. Let this be a lesson to anyone trying to invade another nation. Specifically, if Russia's invasion worked out really well and was a profitable move netting them more shale oil and gas fields, very specifically knocking out a soon competitor, then that would embolden China to take over Taiwan, who makes nearly all of our processor chips. Remember how many things couldn't be manufactured because they didn't have the chips to put in them. This would be a massively worse. If Russia starts getting the Soviet gang back together, 
Then we'll have to spend a whole lot more money on NATO and ramping up the military. Which is nuts. It's never been ramped down. But you know they'd still do it anyway. And we have a defensive agreement with Ukraine. Are you suggesting we turn our back on our international agreements? Fight the enemy in the fields or be burned in your house. Radical idea not many people seem to understand. Governments can in fact focus on multiple issues at once. Democracy versus dictatorship. Obvious answer. Then there's also the fact that Ukraine is a massive producer of food and grains. And then there's the fact that Ukraine wants to join the EU. Which is a great partner of the US. A stronger EU means a stronger US. Someone posts a variation of this every few hours in this sub. I am totally in favor of. Thing they're actually not in favor of. But why do we spend so much money on it when we could be funding? Personal list of favorite causes. Quote. The answer. Always. Is that the list of things the poster wants to spend money on are either intractable problems like. Homelessness. Where there's no viable solution. Or like student debt. Where there's no political consensus. And the fact that the US spends money on the first thing is irrelevant. It's not a trade-off. We're rich enough to fund every project listed if we wanted to. It's not like if the war in Ukraine ended tomorrow we'd forgive student debt because suddenly we could afford to do so. We don't forgive student debt because we don't want to. Which I would submit is because we're not insane. This is a massive windfall for the American weapons industry. When the government donates 50 billion to the war effort all of that money goes to the US military. Suppliers. Think of it as a stimulus to the defense industry. Gonna take plenty of American military hardware to fight that war. And the war is going scare plenty European countries to buy more American military hardware. The Russians have cut off the gas and guess who comes to the rescue with LNG? The Americans. Who now has to spend much more on defense and energy? The whole of Europe with most of that money going to the Americans. This war is a win for the US even if it drags on for years. From a geopolitical standpoint, it makes perfect sense for the US to do everything in their power to aid Ukraine. To summarize a few reasons. Aiding a small democratic nation against a large autocratic nation reinforces the idea that the US is the leader of the free world. The US has not fought a near-peer rival in many years. And many of their weapon systems are untested against modern adversaries. Giving these weapons to Ukraine amounts to a bloodless for the US trial run of their weapon systems which provides them with valuable data for future arms development and tactics world powers can't engage in combat directly without putting the human race at risk of extinction. Aiding Ukraine is a form of indirect warfare for the US against Russia. Much like the proxy wars that were waged during the Cold War. It allows them to drain Russian resources while preserving American lives. World War II began with the appeasement of Hitler. Hitler wanted to annex certain countries. And other nations let him. Then Hitler wanted more. And more. And more. Until the world was forced into a war with Hitler being on much better footing than before. If history has taught us anything. It is that appeasing people with power will not quench their appetite. It only puts them on better footing for the next war. If the world let Ukraine fall, it would only be a matter of time before Putin decided he wanted to annex another country. Only this time he would be stronger. Simple answer these are not mutually exclusive. USA has had many many years of opportunities to address the issues you raise. The Ukraine situation has not diminished the capacity to address the issues. USA lacks the political imperative to address these issues. 
if it the domestic issues became so high profile that each and every political candidate would lose the next election over their personal effort to make progress on the issues. Then it would be mostly fixed within weeks. Anything that involves spending money requires a vote in Congress. Votes are based on how they will impact re-elections. Military aid to the underdog is a safe vote. Solving domestic problems can loosen election. The U.S. is actually getting a really sweet deal. They are subsidizing someone else eliminating their enemy. This war is going to put Russia back decades. If they lose. Longer. It takes a supposed world power and turned them into an international joke. And all Biden needed to do was sign a few checks and field test some new tech. He didn't commit any American lives. We are all sitting comfortably at home debating someone else's war in a far off place as if we were rooting for our favorite football team. On the international scale, this kind of success is cheap. I wish Ukraine all the success and I hope that they teach Putin and his brute squad what it is to try and invade someone else's home. I also wish them as swift a victory as possible and the peace and freedom to heal. Those people are fighting WW3. They are living in hell while the rest of the world celebrates the World Cup and Christmas. The least we can do is support them while they fight our wars for us. One of the reasons I haven't seen posted yet is that the conflict in Ukraine is an unprecedented opportunity for the US to test its military hardware and training in a modern conflict. It's no secret that the US spends lots of money on its military but opportunities to test that military against another modern military without risking nuclear Armageddon are pretty much nil. With Ukraine we have a force that has been trained significantly by the US being supplied with US hardware fighting one of the few other militaries in the world that could have once claimed to have posed a threat to the US in somewhat recent history. The number of intelligence assets the U.S. has in the area isn't just so that they can pass that intelligence on to Kiev, it's so that they can learn how to fight a modern conflict without any real skin in the game. There are a bunch of other reasons but I think this is one of the bigger ones. Every day on this sub I see I am pro Ukraine but why America not fix problems? The people championing sending money and weapons wants to fix the problems the people saying. Don't, don't. We can fix multiple problems at once but currently we'd rather not because it's a sporting event. For people who haven't spent a day in true fear. I'm fairly sure a lot of the assistance being sent is also effectively subsidizing of the American. Military intelligence and manufacturing sectors. It isn't just like cutting a check to Ukraine. A lot of the spend occurs in America and pays American wages, so Americans can do all the good things that wages pay for. Also drones are still a technology in the fast part of their development curve, as are various other tech aspects of the war. Being deeply involved in the intelligence side means the US stays on the cutting edge of tactical and strategy development of this still rapidly developing form of warfare. So, it is cheaper than it looks and good for military readiness. I'm Australian by the way. Think about what you're asking. How can the US benefit from Ukraine beating our most significant even more enemy in the nation's history? Because the US is capable of doing more than one thing at a time. It is also the morally right thing to do. CWW2. If you want to be completely transactional about it, which it sounds like you do, then it is in the best interest of national security that Russia is not given free reign to roll into any country they wish. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.